Carter and Faye are with us in Tucson, Arizona. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show, guys. How are you? Doing well. How are you doing, Dave? Better than I deserve. I see on my screen you guys are debt-free. Yes, we are. Yep. I uh, love it. I love it. How much have you paid off? Uh, about $100,000. Whoa! How long did that take? Uh, four years and nine months. Okay. And uh, making what kind of money during that time? Uh, range from 190000 to 255000 Whoa, you make great money. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm a family physician. Oh, okay. There it is. All right. And what kind of debt was this? Student loans? No, we had that taken care of, um, but uh, I, I went into some debt uh, to buy some land, uh, hoping to build a, an office building on it. Turned out that didn't happen. We still own the land, but uh, we got that paid off, and then the other probably close to half was um, was our home. So we paid that off in, in September. Oh, that's fun. A paid-for yeah. house, paid-for dirt, everything's paid for. Everything. Yeah. How old are you guys? 53. Well, congratulations. How's it feel to not have any payments? Amazing. Can't can't describe it. Just uh, so peaceful, um, very, I don't know, just a, a huge weight that's off, taken off our shoulders. Well, you and I both know that docs uh, have a, a horrendous reputation with handling money, and yet you've done a fabulous job. Congratulations. Tell Thank me your story. What happened four years and nine months ago that put you on this journey? Um, I was in a church meeting, and someone mentioned Dave Ramsey. I hadn't heard of you, and uh, so I started listening to you, looked you up on the Internet, and found a class in Tucson at, I think it was Pantano Christian Church uh, that Faye and I went to. And uh, we got, got rolling, and we had our that land loan paid off within a few months. And then uh, liked it so much, uh, my, my brother, who is my partner, is um, he teases me about being a Dave Ramsey disciple. <laughs> and... Uh, so we, uh, he and I uh, put on the class for our employees. We have about 15 employees, and, and if spouses wanted to come, they could as well. So we closed the building down for 13 weeks at that time for two hours so that we could do that and, and help them. And some of them are, are making good progress as well. That's very neat. What's the best story among the employees? What's the coolest thing that's happened as a result of you guys paying for that and doing that? Um. Well, I just had someone the other day tell me that uh, they got two of their student loans paid off, and, and when they get the the uh, paid off in full notice, they're going to put it up on the refrigerator. I you know, love it. Nothing huge, but... Hey, uh, that, you know, that little, counts. I like it, because student loans ride there, people little, uh, like a horse, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> you get those things off your back, you got, you know, that's, that's a monkey on the back right there. Well, cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Great employer pouring into your people like that. Thank you. Very well done. Well, thank you, guys. So uh, what was the hardest part of this for you, Faye, as you guys went through this change? Well, we, the hardest part is we, we had a son that died. He actually committed suicide. Oh, my Lord. Well, how long ago was that? That was January of 14. Okay. Whew. 20 minutes ago. Still yeah. takes your breath away to talk about it, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, still still kind of raw, but you know it it set us back for a while. It got off track and and uh, but well, we're able yeah. to get back on and get uh, get some traction again. Yeah, you get off track on everything. That would just blow your world up, man. That's unbelievable. Yeah. How old was he? Uh, he was 21. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Thank you. So you guys are trucking along, getting out of debt, and then that horrible tragedy occurs right in the middle, and then you have to kind of get refocus back on your life after that then i guess yeah yeah i mean just uh some of the basics uh eating and sleeping or uh, yeah uh, you know just uh you know just fatigue and and uh you know trying to trying to maintain you know going back to work after a couple of weeks and things like that so uh yeah it was it took us several months to get get back going again we're still trying to refocus <laughs> sure sure well, that's a scar that, that will never completely heal. That's right. a, that, parents are not supposed to endure that. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Wow. Thank, thank you. Thank well, you. And, and in the middle of that, it, you know, it, at least you clear off these things and don't have this burden. That's um, nowhere near the same, on the same scale, obviously. But, um, uh, wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. Right. Um, right. Thank you. Thank you. So what is you guys' message? Because, I mean, out of that, you, you, 
I mean, you went back after that to paying off debt. So once you kind of got back on track, you finished off. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Uh-huh. We had the the land already paid off, yeah. and uh, we, you know, we continued to just make our regular payments on the home. Mm-hmm. We had that set up, you know, automatically, and then mm-hmm. um, about the middle of last year, we we started seeing, you know, if I can, if we can ramp it up and and start throwing some more at the house, uh, we can get this paid off by the end of the year, and and so that's that's what we did. So and, it kind of uh, gives you something to focus on then, as yeah. you as you yeah. find as you find yeah. their way back up onto the road, kind of. Wow. Yeah, we actually we thought about selling the house because of you know he he took his life here at our here at home oh. and uh, um, but uh, we decided that you know this this is our home and we decided to to stay here and and try to make the best of it. I mean, there's not going to be any home that's going to be perfect without you know without him here. But yeah. uh, we still have three other children and we have grandchildren and we have uh, faith in God. Things are things are going to work out okay. And um, so we'll just continue to move forward the best we can. Yeah. Well, we all live with a broken heart of one kind or another. Some are just more broken and been through more horrible things than others. I'm so sorry for you guys. I'm happy for you that you've got that paid for. And then you got this little burden of debt off of you while you guys have faced this, though. Oh, Thank my you. goodness. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, has, it has helped some with the, kind of the healing and, like you say, uh, one less burden. So, yeah. yeah. Thank and you. Gives, you, gives you something to aim at while you're paying it off as a goal to take take your mind off of other stuff a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, and there's a certain amount to that. Uh, you know, I got exercise and, you know, d- do some things just to just distract from the pain. So, yeah, probably yeah. focusing on this uh, probably helped with the healing also. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you for calling in and sharing your story so openly. It's because uh, other people are hearing this, obviously, and um, there's some other folks out there facing similar things. And they just need to hear I, you. I guess they, I guess you always just, we all need to hear you live through it, don't you? In the sense of, you, yeah, you, you get, there is life you know, on the other side. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're going to because it hurts so bad, but, um, right. but, but you do, you do. And yep. your faith and, 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 you know, aiming at, at goals and so forth. Yeah, that's real. Well, all right. Carter and Faye, Tucson, Arizona. You guys still with me? Yes, we are. Okay. I thought I heard something hang up. I want to make sure I didn't lose you. Well, we, right. we're, Faye's on the speakerphone, uh, oh, okay. and I'm just turning that one off, and I'm going to yell on my phone. Got it. Okay. Carter and Faye, Tucson, Arizona, $100,000 paid off uh, in four years and nine months, making 100 to 255 That's their house, their land, and everything. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Two, one. We're debt-free! <laughs> Well done, you guys. Well done. Man, I can't breathe just talking to them. I can't imagine going through that. You know why most people don't win? They don't bother. You have to bother. You have to be intentional. Never again is American Express going to call my house and ask my wife why she would stay with a man that won't pay his bills. 